Nothing bonds you together quite like cleaning out a van toilet. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I just realised I was on camera. Good morning, how are we all? See, I'm just breaking up some biscuits into River's Bowl. In the same spot, we've had no problems. Oh, no problems whatsoever, apart from being eaten well, ravaged, as you say, by I think a single mosquito which is in the van somewhere. As we drop off to sleep, you can hear it. He goes, Oh, that's a fair one. Today is an admin day. We need to get our laundry done, we need to empty the toilet, we need to empty our grey water. So we've decided to go, there's, there aren't really that many services around this part of Sicily. In fact, I can't see any um, and I can't really find any online. So what we're going to do is head to a campsite and we want to plan the next few days, don't we, as well. Yeah. So I think we're going to stay there tonight and just kind of get everything done and then see where we are tomorrow and hopefully head off. But yeah, this campsite looks really, really nice and it's, yeah, just half an hour drive away, so. Perfect. So you're not going to see me very well, but the tunnels in Sicily are huge. This tunnel we're in is far bigger than any tunnel we've been through in Italy, and if you've driven in Italy, you know how many tunnels there are. This is crazy. It's amazing. The sun circles round, gives up, done just as well as anyone. There we go. This looks like it. So we've made it to Agri Campeggio Alessandra, I think is the name. Sorry if I butchered that. This campsite is 18 euros a night and it's absolutely amazing. So each pitch has its own solar shower, its own tap for drinking water and its own grey waste disposal, which is just amazing. And the toilets are just here. So this is going to be a lovely place just to spend a night, get ourselves refreshed, get everything sorted ready to head off tomorrow. Time to go and do some washing. I've been wearing Ben's boxes for the past three days. Okay, so we've set everything up, done our washing, done our chores, now we're gonna go and find the beach, which should be just at the end of this path. Come on to my private beach, madame. So high are the stakes. So high are the stakes. To go and see what these showers are like. It's always the good test of the campsite is how good the showers are. So these are the showers. Pretty nice and clean. Although nowhere to put my wash bag or anything. Such an amazing shower. Oh, it never gets old. It feels so good. Despite the lack of privacy in here, I don't know what I would do if there's people using the washing machine, if there's people using the sinks, where I would have got changed, but never mind. Hello. Right where I left you? Exactly where I left you. Showers are amazing. Are they? Like, it, is a it was so hot that I could almost like not have it on full. Really? Yeah. It's half the day. Hello. Safe oh. to pizza. When in Rome or when in Sicily. Oh, chips. And River's like, oh. River can smell oh. it. Because we can't go out to eat many places with you, can we? Yeah, so, so food comes to here. us. Oh, that's yours. <gasps> oh. A calabrese. Yes. I've got a Napoli. Gonna be rude now, guys. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Now we've eaten, River wow. can come up to join us and she's very happy about it. It wasn't the best pizza I've ever had in my life. I would probably give it like oh, what are you doing? Is it... four, out of four or five out of ten. But I think we're just going to chill now, 
Make a cup of tea and watch a film or something. Yeah. And chill. Chill, sounds good. No, thank you. Just bread. Just bread, yeah. Feels real good. Yeah. So on quite a few campsites, you get these um, little vans that come around, whipping their horn first thing in the morning. Sometimes they sell fish, sometimes they sell bread, sometimes they sell fresh fruit and veg. This one is like a complete little mini corner shop in her van. She's got everything from like cakes and biscuits to veg, fresh veg, sausage, butter, beer, br fresh bread. Jobs today, we still need to do a shop and we still need to empty the toilet and then we can get off. I think we're gonna have a little road trip into the mountains and yeah, just kind of see what happens. I've not really got a huge plan today, so yeah, who knows what's gonna happen. This toilet is a team effort, this one. I've got my foot on here. Nothing bonds you together quite like cleaning out a van toilet. So that was a great little stop just to get all the kind of bits and bobs and van admin stuff done. We actually met um, a lovely British couple called Debbie and Michael. They are the first British people that we've actually seen in our entire, since we left France, apart from Tanya and Adam obviously. I think we've seen, you've seen like a couple on the road, but we haven't yeah. seen any UK campers. They've been out for quite a while now. But yeah, they're a really lovely couple. So hi Debbie and Michael if you're watching. And um, yeah, I hope you have a safe trip down to Mallorca. We are now off to, we, do you want to vlog with her? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to head to the shops now and stock up on some food. Here she comes. Ciao. But the trick is, oh, the question is, uh, this is a question I always ask, how much? What would probably cost around... No, 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 no. No, no, no this oh, okay. What would probably cost around... Seven. When Chess does this, this means she's about to let me in for a shock. No, it's the opposite. <laughs> a good shock. What would normally cost about 70 euros in like a normal supermarket is 44. That's amazing. Woo -hoo, that's what I like to hear. So we've made it to the Madoni, Madoni National Park in Sicily. We are parked at the bottom of a little town called Castel Bueno, I think. Um, we're going to have a bite to eat here and then continue going and try and find a nice park up and maybe a hike, if we're lucky. Parking! Alright, you enjoying that? Oh, some biscuits on the front seat for you. This drive through the mountains is absolutely spectacular. I had no idea that this kind of landscape existed in Sicily at all. I just thought it was like beaches. Isn't no, it it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So we've spent nearly half an hour, half an hour driving back and forth, like switch back, switch back, all the way up to the sort of mountain to find this little village at the top. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's breathtaking. The, the view, the panoramic view is amazing. I just can't believe that this is our view today. Absolutely insane. There's actually a few trailheads. Um, there's a couple that go up there, one goes down here. Um, so we're just going to stroll for a little bit and see what we can find. These same dreams they make you ill with, growing you and be the cure of discovery. Straight in there. The... Still alive, River. Still alive. What you seek is seeking you. When you reach, it's reaching to her. I would highly, highly, highly recommend coming out to the Madonna National Park in Sicily. 
It is just absolutely stunning here. I know we keep saying it, but it really is. <laughs> it's just beautiful and it's feels very wild and remote and but it's not really that far from the coast. It was like an hour's drive, so And the drive was amazing the drive was amazing itself. Yeah. That is, yeah that's that's half of it, yeah. Um, and I'm not a big fan of steep mountain roads and it was fine, it wasn't like any well touch wood so far it wasn't any dodgy drop offs or anything. So I think the rest of the hike goes up here and then up onto this. Can you see up here? That like rocky, very, very high point. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna, there's loads of cows in there as well. So it's is very interested in. Yeah. So I think we're gonna turn around, head back now. It's been a stunning little hike, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, Just yeah. the views up here, I mean, up there, you're just gonna have 360 degree views over Sicily, which is just insane. Cool, let's go. What are you doing? Where are you zooming off to? Hello. night that was. Sunrise coming straight through. Oh, I feel that. You can feel the warmth already. I know, it's because it's so cold in here. Any bit of sun is going to warm us up. So, Riva came and joined us this morning. She is here. Her head no. tucked under the duvet. <laughs> Without fail at either about 6.30 or whenever our alarm goes off, which is just after, Riva will hop up onto the chair down there and go mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and then I'll look up and her little ears are sticking up and I'll say come on then and she'll jump up into bed and she'll either come and cuddle in, in between us or she'll come and jump on one of the sides and cuddle in <laughs> it's so cute I slept in my jumper my joggers and my thermal socks tonight last yeah. night and I'm Still only just warm enough. Yeah, I had my joggers on. It was a little bit cold last night. So the sun tanned me. Oh, I reckon she's got me any treats? No. Oh. There hasn't really any treats. There? There's no treats. There's no biscuits. There's not a biscuit aisle. Oh, I got you some crisps. Not biscuits, though, is it? So much to be in the world, just stick inside. So work it out, stick it out. 